why is this uh, an important cause for you to get behind, Wayne? Yeah, look, like the, like these guys said, it's um, you know for for six kids, and um, it's good just to get behind it. You know, they obviously they're all regional stuff, so you know they come here um, to homes closer to closer to the city, closer to um, better treatments in, in in these hospitals. So um, it's you know it's it's a good cause to get behind. The riding for a thousand k's. I thought you don't get to ride for a thousand k's, but I'm sure you've sat on the bike a fair bit down at Westlake. So yeah, you feel I'd, for these guys. Yeah, definitely. I I'm not too big on the bike, so. Um, not, not that much power through my legs, so maybe maybe if it was Texas, some with big legs, Darcy Fogarty, they got big legs that maybe they can get get on a, get on a bike and a bit better. But um, yeah, uh, it's obviously a good good course. So um, yeah, will you be riding at all, Wayne? Nah, no, no. Where we will go to? Um, there's all the young boys will be going to uh, uh, McDonald's on on a sat on Saturday after we train. So um, I think we're out ten different locations around Adelaide. So we'll, we'll get out and um, encourage people to donate and and support the cause as much as we can. Bit of team much while you're there. Yeah, <laughs> cut the Big Macs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling a bit sore yourself uh, starting pre-season back? How are you coping with all that? Yeah, no, it's good. It's good to get back into the rhythm of stuff. Um, second week now, so, um, yeah, it's good. We're all back and, you know, first week was everyone pulls up a little bit sore, but uh, we're, we're all back into it now and you start just to get used to it. Um, but it's good to get back. Have you all come back? Wayne. Last year was obviously a, a point in the news, but this year run come back fit and firing. Yeah, yeah. Look, um, we've still got our testing on next Monday when all the older boys come back, but um, all the young boys seem to have come back in good nick. So um, we'll see how we go with 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 the two k next Monday. But um, it all looks good. Is that something you had to think about in the off season after last year? They put it on you a little bit more to think about it. I, when you're on yeah, holidays? they definitely just you know tell you, uh, make sure you're being professional over the mm. over, over the break and. Um, getting your, uh, doing your program and, and getting the work in, so you don't come back in that bad nick and and stuff like that. Talking <laughs> saying, there's a lot of chat between boys, like on you know um, WhatsApp groups and stuff like that. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we got you know linked up with uh, a leader or so. Um, so I was with um, Daniel Talia, um, Tommy Dude and and Alex Key. So we just kept kept in contact over over the phone, just making sure we're doing our work and um, and getting it in. What does that send to the senior boys? When they come back on Monday and the junior guys are flying, yeah, I guess it just sent you know that you know they they know that we're ready and we're you know we've got the right mindset about what we want to do and and how we want to um, attack this year. What about uh, yourself personally? You saw you dazzle a few opposition <laughs> midfields with a few of your tricks. Is going to be hard to keep that up now that teams might have a look out for you. I'll just go out and still continue just to play our play and um, yeah, just play play freely. But you still across half back. Uh, yeah, I'm training at the moment, um, but I'm, I'm open to anything and see how we go. See how we go. You think you might slide up to the wing, Wayne, or you feel like half back's sort of your home now? Well, half back's been good. Um, I'm, you know, happy to play wherever, uh, wherever they need me. I'm, I'm happy if it's if it's going up forward again or um, through the midfield or saying half back. It's I'm happy to play wherever. What are the things that you're focused on this preseason? Like, are there certain like benchmarks that you've been given you need to hit, or um, not necessarily just some individual stuff I got myself. Um, uh, mainly, mainly focused around you know some injury prevention stuff. The last sort of two or three pre-seasons I've had, I've had troubles with my knees, so it's probably just more staying on top of that and staying out on the track. And um, yeah, that's probably my big main focus. Is confidence a big thing for a player like you, Wayne, that sort of wants to take the game on all the time. Do you have to sort of be reminded of that when you're in your younger stages of your career? Yeah, I, I guess so. I'm yeah, a bit of a confidence player. So, um, but yeah. I, you know, find confidence from obviously staying out on the track and and get, getting all that work in. So, was last year your best year? Do you think personally? Yeah, I think I, I played some played some good footy there. So um, it was definitely more consistent um, last year, which was which was good. How do you back that up? Do you think? What do you need to do to make sure that you go better this year? I just continually try and improve. So, you know, do the stuff that I was doing last year. All the sort of same stuff. You know, um, watching vision, watching vision, getting getting in with the coaches, um, just talking to other players and. Continue to improve. Um, so yeah. We've seen a number of the senior boys back. Maybe we saw, you know, Seeds and Luke Brown and Tex there yesterday. Um, there's a, a real good feel among the group that like everything that happened last season is sort of put to bed and is yeah. put to rest. And you can, guys can, you know, be a fresh start basically in 2019. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. You know, um, also only the young boys back at the moment and a couple of senior boys have rolled through. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely a good feeling um, amongst the group. You know, last year's all done. We're over that. We're going to focus on this year and 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 attack this pre-season and get ready for the season. 
Do you use last year's sort of disappointment as a bit of motivation, just to spur you on a little bit? Uh, yeah, I guess I guess you sort of you just sort of we just gonna not worry about next year and just play back to the footy that we know we can play and and just build that build that um, relationships and and good footy that was playing back mm. in 2017. How the new um, how the fun. new guys saw it in you know or have, you know have they started like Tyson Stengel and Shane McAdam how are they going so far? Yeah, no, good, good. Um, they you know come in and they're going to add add something to our forward line which is good. Um, you know both both exciting players um, and both both local boys as well. Oh, not Shane's not local, but he's played here um, in SA and he here for a little bit. Um, but yeah, good to get them into the club and and some new faces and hopefully they can do some. Good stuff up forward. Do you look to lead them a bit, Wayne? I mean, as a younger brigade, I know Kirtley was big on that last year. Do you yeah. try and step up into that void and sort of lead a few of the younger guys like that? Yeah, yeah, that's um, you know another little uh, focus I've had just over the last two weeks. Just continue to you know build my leadership skills in in sort of that little one to four year group. Um, just try to try to be lead as much as I can, and then try and you know obviously it's a bit more uh, with when all the older boys come back. It's it's a bit more there, but. Um, you know, I'll still try and hopefully um, do a bit more leadership stuff in there. A couple of new coaches, how are you finding them? Yeah, good. So we got um, we got uh, Marty Matney. He's, he's our new backline coach. So I'll probably I'll work with him a lot more this year. And then obviously Gozzi come across from um, Woodville. Um, he, he's been good as well. And then we've got uh, the uh, Steve Steve Saunders who's come in as a physio. So um, you know they're they're good good to come in and um, it's, been, it's been good to have them. Um, what about on the charity as well, just back on that, on Saturday, what response are you getting and how important is it for you guys to sort of get out amongst the community and do this sort of stuff? Yeah, it's good, you know, you get, obviously it shows that, you know, the clubs the clubs care about it and, and we, we want to, you know, get behind a, a great cause, so um, it's good to get out and, you know, show them that, that we want to help as much as possible.